You are assertive enough to make decisions, athletic enough to keep up with the play, and confident enough to hold your ground. But unless you're smart enough to recognize the signs of concussion in players and responsible enough to safely remove them from the field, then they are at risk of serious injury. Hi, I'm Alan Quinlan and I'm here at the Aviva Stadium in Dublin to talk about your role as a referee in managing and preventing concussion. This venue is somewhat appropriate as many Irish rugby players aspire to one day play here. And while hurdles can stand in the way of this goal, one such hurdle, if not managed correctly, is concussion. The IRFU has put together four simple messages as guidelines in the management of concussion. These are stop, inform, rest, return. Referees play a vital role in the first two of these guidelines. Stop and inform. This video will detail exactly what a referee must do from the time a player has suspected concussion to the time that they leave the field. It will then cover refereeing strategies to help prevent concussion. First though, let's find out what concussion is, how it can occur and the signs and symptoms to look for. Concussion is a traumatic brain injury that affects how the brain functions, resulting from the brain colliding with the inside of the skull. Concussion can be caused by a direct blow to the head or body, and from whiplash type movements occurring when a player collides with another player or the ground. This injury can take place during training as well as during a match. If not managed correctly, concussion can result in a shortened playing career, a more serious brain injury, permanent neurological impairment, and even death. Children and adolescents are more susceptible to concussion and to developing more serious complications. Children and adolescents can have symptoms that take longer to develop and can take longer to resolve. A player does not need to lose consciousness for concussion to occur. In fact, only 10% of concussions result in loss of consciousness, which is why understanding the signs and symptoms of concussion is so important. A sign of concussion is something seen by you, while a symptom of concussion is something the player might complain of to you. Signs to look for on the field are a player lying motionless on the ground, a player who is slow to get up, unsteady or falling over, a player who is grabbing or clutching their head, a player who has a dazed, blank or vacant look, a player who is confused or not aware of their surroundings, and a player who is vomiting. Symptoms a player may complain of off the field can be divided into four categories. Physical, how the player is. Emotional, how the player feels. Cognitive, how the player thinks. And sleep, how alert the player is. Physically, a player may complain of headache, sickness, balance problems or dizziness. Emotionally, a player may feel irritable, they may be aggressive, more emotional, or more nervous or anxious. Cognitively, a player may have memory problems, confusion or forgetfulness, or feel slowed down. Sleep-wise, a player may be drowsy, and they may sleep more or less than normal. Symptoms of concussion can come on immediately or up to 48 hours later, meaning players might be at school or work when they experience them. Now that we know what concussion is, how it is caused and the signs and symptoms, we can look at your role in the first of the two relevant guidelines. Stop. To explain further, here is leading international referee, Johnny Lacey. If you recognize concussion in a player, you must safely remove them from play in accordance with law 3.9, which states, if the referee decides, with or without the advice of a doctor or other medically qualified person, that a player is so injured that the player should stop playing. The referee may order that player to leave the playing area. The referee may also order an injured player to leave the field in order to be medically examined. The player must not return. If you suspect a potential spinal injury, you must not move the player and call 999 or 112. The next step in the management of concussion is to inform. Inform. You must inform the coach of the suspected concussion. A suggested statement to give to the coach is, 
I am removing this player from the field of play with a suspected concussion. They now need to be monitored and should be assessed medically. Once you have handed the player over to a person of responsibility, you may return to adjudicating the game. Your role as a referee in managing concussion starts well before you suspect concussion and continues well after a player returns to play. A big part of managing concussion is prevention. As a referee, you can know and enforce the laws of the game as foul play is a significant cause of injury. Be aware of play that puts a player at risk of injury. Ensure that players with suspected concussion do not continue to play. To recap, concussion is a brain injury caused by contact to the head or body, or whiplash injuries. Concussion can lead to permanent loss of mental function and even death. As a referee, you have a vital role in recognising and safely removing players with suspected concussion. You can help prevent concussion by knowing and enforcing the law. Finally, as a referee, you are an influential figure in the eyes of the player. If you pass on the information contained in this video and emphasise the importance of managing concussion safely, you will help change the culture of concussion and ensure the safety of your players. For more information on concussion, including videos for junior and senior players, family members and coaches, go to irishrugby.ie. If you would like to attend a safe rugby course to learn practical rugby specific first aid or if you have any questions regarding concussion, go to irishrugby.ie and search SAFE. You can email saferugby at irishrugby.ie or call 086-021-6064. And remember, stop, inform, rest, return.